Hey there, and welcome back to another episode of This Guy's Thoughts. I say this every time. I appreciate you taking the time out of your busy day and watching another beer review. I really do appreciate the support. I appreciate you tuning in, uh, listening to what, listen to me rant here, listen to me rant about what I think about a beer. Uh, tonight, I'm featuring one out of, another one, out of Ohio. This here is one from Moeller uh, Brew Barn. Mola Brew Barn is located in Maria Stein, Ohio, and they've also have a location in Troy, Ohio that they've uh, opened up. Uh, but originally out of Maria Stein, Ohio, and that's still, I believe, their main brewery over there. Uh, this here is their Hey Z, Hey Z Pell L. So I'm assuming it's going to be a Hey Z Pell L. This here, this here says uh, first edition 2021. I don't see a date on here uh, anywhere. When it was canned, I think I've had it for about a month, maybe. Uh, it says, half golden malt and juicy hops. So you see the Molder Brew Barn logo right there. Kind of like a rooster there. Um, hazy. Flip it around here. You can see Molder Brew Barn. Their uh, locations right there. Uh, Maria Stein and Troy, Ohio. Uh, this here, I believe it is, uh, where did I see the IBU at? Uh, no IBU on here. 6.3% alcohol by volume. Right there. Right there. You see the Infinite Craft beer. See all that fun stuff on there. Again, Molar Brew Barn. As far as artwork on this, you know what it is, what it is. I just like the, the barns, the, you know, the, the very, the, how simple it is. You know, Maria Stein, uh, you know, this area of Ohio, it's a lot of cornfields and flat land and everything like that. So it's very true to the area. So I do like what they've done here uh, with this. And I, I just kind of like their logo, just the rooster there. I kind of just like that. So as far as the artwork on this, uh, I'm going to give it a, about a four, uh, about a four, four and a half out of five, okay? Um, I like what they've done here, okay? Um, so I'm going to crack this thing open. I know nothing at all about this beer. Not one thing. Um... Haven't heard anybody talk about it. Haven't asked anybody in the area about it. Um, Molar Brew Barn, if you're in uh, Central Ohio, you ever come across a Molar Brew Barn stuff, I highly encourage you to try them out. Um, you know, they delivered on just about everything I've ever had from them. I would assume this will be a no exception. A hazy pale ale. You know, I'm into these uh, IPAs like this, these hazy beers like this. I, I would be stunned if I did not like this thing. So anyhow, be sure you like, subscribe, comment. Uh, like I said, give the video a big thumbs up. I appreciate that. I appreciate you dropping the comments. Let me know what you think. About two fingers of a head on here. Just a white head. Just a snow white, uh, cloudy white head. Just a fluffy cloud floating around on top of that there. Uh, has decent uh, head or uh, lacing there going on. Uh, mild carbonation, just clean this glass, so just a, some mild carbonation in here, honestly. As far as aroma, oh, wait a minute, am I getting like a bubblegum sweetness? What I pick up, not a whole lot to the aroma. I'm going to be honest, I pick up kind of a sweet candiness to this. Um... And maybe a lemony to the lemonness to this. Let's see here. I'm gonna set this down here, and right across the bottom of the can it says, "Barley, wheat, oats, mosaic, centennial, amarillo, and uh, galena hops on this thing." So it's hard to say what I'm really picking up on this mostly. But I get it like a sweet bubblegum. Sweet bubblegum aroma coming off of this and maybe a lemoniness to this. That's pretty much it. I could probably dig and say, hey, I get a grassiness coming off of it or whatever, but that's about all I'm picking up on the uh, aroma to this. So let's get a drink on this thing. See what it is uh, all about. I think that can said loads of hops in this thing, which I read them all. I read a bunch of them right there. So, 
medium bodied mouthfeel. It's kind of got a lingering um, hoppiness that kind of lingers around. Even after you swallow, it's kind of lingering around there in the back of the throat. And that's not a bad thing. So, bitterness more towards the back of the swallow as it washes through, that coats the palate. Um, kind of a bitteriness there, but it, it ends with a very dry finish, in my opinion. I do pick up a bit of that lemoniness in here. Mild, mild, um, tropical um, uh, taste to this, tropical uh, flavors to this here. But I get, I get this like candy, um, bubble gummy, sweet, sweet, uh, you know, sweet taste in there, sweet, uh, you know, mouthfeel floating around there in the mouth. A little bit of a mix-up right there. A little bit of mouth uh, swishing back and forth. Overall, not bad. Not bad. Meaty bite mouth, though. Bit of a, a candied sweetness to this. Almost a bubble gum, dare I say. A bit of a lemoniness to this. Maybe a bit of an earthy, um, flowery, grassiness to this as well. Outside of that, that's about all I pick up on this. Uh, another solid, solid offering from Molar Brew Barn. Highly recommended. Highly encourage you guys to go out and try these out. Uh, these guys out right here. Um, dropping a score on this, about a 4.25 out of 5. Definitely solid. Definitely something I recommend and encourage you to try out. Uh, anyhow, like I said earlier, like, subscribe, comment, check me out on social media.